पैसा लोग आए कुछ ना मैं पढ़ लिया सुधी ऑनलाइन कौन बाप है त्यान माथी को जा रहे वह घर छोड़े रहे बाहर बस में पड़े सा अब Chautara town is the capital of Sindhupolchuk municipality. 66,000 families. They have a very difficult situation coming. The monsoon rains are heavy and the winds are strong. Plastic sheeting and tents are not going to make it at 4,000 meters. <laughs> We have to give people their dignity. We have to give people shelter. Corrugated iron sheeting is a construction material that's favored by many rural Nepalis in order to build their roofing. But how much raw material must be available in the country to produce that much iron sheeting? How much could be taken without causing problems within the prevailing market forces? Because we have to not help 1,000 families or 500 families, but 10,000 or 50,000 who are in camps all throughout earthquake-affected Nepal. Where does all that CGI come from? That's a complicated sweet spot, and I couldn't do that myself. But I'm glad to say that there's a guy in SAS named Isa, and I was able to communicate my problem. My problem without a solution. He said that he had 45,000 families at the time. They needed to find sheet metal roofing fast. And so, but he didn't know where to get those answers. We did some work with the United Nations, looking at uh, comm trade data. So trade data from any country that's initiating trade. I literally put them on hold, went and, and searched 300 million rows of data in visual analytics. Production capacity, labor migration patterns, vocational and technical capacities. What SAS can do is analyze a broad spectrum of data to understand my population better. Within a couple of minutes, I said, you know what? India, right next door, is the world's largest producer. And oh, by the way, Nepal ranks seventh in the world before the earthquake. You may even still have some capacity in country. I placed an order for 310,000 sheets of 26-gauge corrugated iron sheeting that, as we speak, are starting to go on the roofs of people's houses. That's stuff that matters, being able to find trends that are going to positively impact people. And I'm not even sure what kind of algorithm was used to give me the data that I needed to make decisions. But what I do know is that in the end, it's allowing them to rebuild. And that feels pretty good.